Hello you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this video. I feel a little rusty. As I'm sure you can tell by the title, this is gonna be my January favorites. I really want to hold myself accountable to these videos every month. So if you're watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment what your favorite things were this month. One of my favorite things to do is share the things I love with people so that they can love them too. I feel like I say that all the time. So let's just get into it it shall we these are my favorite things for the first month of 2024 might as well start it off with what i'm wearing this is a lounge set off of amazon i believe it's like a free people dupe i got this in a small it fit great at first but it definitely shrunk a little bit in the dryer so i would size up one size i think a medium after drying would have fit me perfectly but yeah that's my first favorite next up i can't remember if i shared this in my gift guide i did become a obsessed with this perfume right before Christmas. This is the brand Lake and Sky and the scent is 1111. I think I've said it before but I have just never been a perfume person and I promise you I wear this every day. I carry around a little travel size bottle in my purse or my work bag. I just love the scent. It just smells like clean. My one coworker came up to me and was like, oh my god you smell so good. You just smell like fresh like soap like you just got out of the shower and that's what this smells like i promise you if you are somebody who just can't find your scent give this a try you'll probably love it next up is the elf lip oils this is in the shade rose envy it's what i have on my lips right now it's just like natural this lighting is kind of washing me out if you know me you know i love my laneige lip balm and i find myself grabbing my elf lip oil over my laneige lip balm i feel like it just like fills in the cracks of your lips instead of just being like on top it kind of like seeps into your lips if i put nothing on my face do nothing and i just put this on i just feel a little bit more put together i can't wait to try other i was gonna say flavors other shades and they're super affordable all right next up are headbands this pack is from amazon it came with one two three four five different like neutral colors like right now i'm just like not feeling my hair and i feel like if i put on a headband just i don't know it just looks a little bit better let's see it just like gives you a little something, you know, like makes you feel a little bit more put together. And yeah, I've just been obsessed with headbands recently. So, and they just feel like super like cute and girly. Okay, next up I have some bags. These are TikTok shop purchases. So this is my work bag. If you're from TikTok, you know that this is like the fits everything bag. And I swear it does. This bag is not big. It's literally, it's this big. I have so much stuff in here and there's literally so much more room. I can fit my entire Stanley in this bag. My Yeti goes in this compartment. I'm probably not showing you well, but, and then I still have plenty of room. I wrap up my entire lunchbox when I'm done for the day and put it in this bag. It has like a little compartment right here. You can put like stuff you grab all the time, like lip balm, gum. There's pockets on the outside. Like you could put stuff in here. You could put like pens and stuff in here. It, it's literally the best bag and the best part is I think it's like $4. So start buying stuff on TikTok shop. It's like a blessing and a curse. Next bag, I'm gonna stand up for this one so you can actually see. This is like, I think another free people dupe. When I'm not at work and using that bag, this is my like everyday bag. I take this bag to the gym, running errands, the grocery store. It fits so much stuff. I took it to the beach. I can like wipe it off because of the material. There we go. It has a zipper and this is also super cheap too. So next up is this journal. This is by the brand Inside Then Out. This it's just different than a journal I've ever had before. This is all you get. There's a place for you to put the date and then it gives you a prompt. I love that the prompts are always different. Like this one says, how do you spend your time? How do you spend your money? What do you want to attract more in your life? What's your deepest desire at the moment? Like all the prompts are so different every day. And I love that you can put your own date on top so you can skip around if the prompt doesn't speak to you that day or if you finish your prompt and you want to journal more and you love the next one, you can do more than one. I find myself doing like two to three when I do journal, but I don't do it every day. So I just love like the freedom of this. So 
would recommend start off the new year strong next up is a book this one is called the mystery guest but it is a sequel to the maid i read the maid with a new podcast i've been loving it's called that's the point podcast it's with kristen johns and her friend john volk it's like you're just sitting having coffee with your friends just talking about life and if you're a member of their patreon they have a book club so they read the maid at the end of last year we all read it together they would give us like a timeline of when we had to get to which chapters and then we would have like weekly discussions on what we thought about the book so this is i guess like the sequel you don't really have to read the maid first to read the mystery guest but i would recommend because i enjoyed and appreciated the mystery guest so much more after reading the maid it's basically like just an innocent which is such a weird word to use when describing a murder mystery, but it's like a lighthearted, easy, like young adult feel of a murder mystery. It wasn't like super heavy. It was intriguing and fun to read once you really got into it. I really like fell in love with the characters. We talked about in the book club, I think the main character might be on somewhat of the autism spectrum, which I loved like reading things from her point of view. I thought it was so cool. I've never read a book like that. Like I said, like seeing things from her point of view and understanding her interpretation of things that maybe she she might interpret different than other people and how she's different from other people but like how her differences make her like unique and even like powerful so I really really recommend these books I got mine at Costco side note if you're looking for a book check Costco because they're cheaper that was a long-winded <laughs> explanation of this book but I would recommend the maid and the mystery guest next up are a couple home items I actually have one well, two right here. I'm gonna grab them. So I have been loving like just warm lamps recently since we took down the Christmas decorations and got our tree out. I like didn't want to put on big bright overhead lamps. I just love like warm lamps at night. So I've gotten a couple of them and I want to share them with you because they're super cozy. This lamp is a candle warmer. I love candles, but Dan, my husband, he is like so afraid that I'm gonna burn the house down. So he will go around and like blow out candles as I like them throughout the house, especially if they're like upstairs, like in the bedrooms and the bathroom and we're downstairs, he can't have it. So this was perfect. The way this works, if you don't know what a candle warmer is, you plug it in, turn it on, and the light bulb inside the lamp warms the candle and you'll actually see like the wax start to melt and then you smell the candle like you would if it were lit. So it's like the best of both worlds. You get the aroma and the feeling that a candle's lit but also the like warm coziness that a lamp gives you. And this one specifically, my parents got this for me for my birthday. I'm gonna try to plug it in to show you. It is daytime so you might not be able to get like the full effect but this comes with a remote, little remote that's like attached to the cord and you turn it on there she is. And then it has like something that makes it more dim, more bright. You could set it to whatever you want. And then it even has a timer. It has like two hours, four hours, eight hours. So you don't even have to get up and turn it off at night. You could just leave it on, set the timer, and then we fall asleep with this on. And the room smells good. It looks pretty. It's literally like the best invention ever. I can already smell the candle. Oh my God, that's crazy. This candle is pretty good too. If you're looking for a cozy wintery vibe candle especially for like a bedroom or a bathroom my sister got this for me for my birthday it's called book loft from bath and body works two more lamps to talk about and then i'll finish with the other home item but i have had this lamp in my kitchen since the holidays and this lamp in my kitchen brings me so much joy it sounds so silly but if you're trying to make your home feel more warm and cozy and inviting put a little lamp in your kitchen. You can put it in the corner with like all your spoons. You could put it next to some flowers. You could put it like stacked on recipe books. And the one I have, I love. It's just so warm. It's like not vintagey looking, but it's just, it fits the kitchen. Second to last item, last lamp. This is our new living room lamp. I'm gonna insert a video right here. Honestly, the best part about this lamp is the remote it comes with. This remote allows you to make it brighter, make it dimmer. You can change the warmth of it so you can make it a little bit cooler a little bit warmer this might have a timer too i'm not sure but maybe you'll be able to see in the video this lamp is just so good 
Last thing I wanted to talk about are mixed tiles. We have these in our room. I'm staring at them right now. I'm gonna insert a video or a picture of the little mini gallery wall I made for our room of our wedding pictures. But if you have never seen or heard of mixed tiles, not only are they super affordable, the actual process of ordering and designing these is so easy. They come with like a sticky back adhesive. You stick it to the wall and then there's a magnet on the frame that is magnetic to the adhesive that's on the wall. And the best part, that adhesive peels off the wall so easily without ripping the paint and still keeps its stickiness that you can move it anywhere else and it sticks just the same. We're gonna let Parky in for the end of this video. Hi, sweet boy. I miss your mommy. Why have you been filming? Oh my goodness. You need to hide in the camera? Come here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And like I said, I really, really, really want to try to do these favorite videos every month. I feel like I say that every year, but I am holding myself accountable this year. Hold me accountable. You can do that by liking this video, letting me know you enjoyed it, subscribing, proving to me that you want to see more, and engage with me. Comment below. Tell me what you loved. Like I said, I love sharing things I love, but I also want to know what everybody else loves. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.